It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. Next! Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for June 11th. We take a trip to the exact Cape Tip Long Point in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the Ooh That Smell Department, a peculiar burning odor reported to many Cape Fire Departments last night may have been caused by brush fires in North Carolina. A phenomenon known as thermal inversion may have kept the smoky smell close to the ground all the way here. In the Let's Get Ready to Rumble Department, Two Falmouth residents will tangle in what is being billed as the great debate on the Iraq war tonight at the Falmouth Library. Ross Bluestein and Troy Clarkson will lace on the gloves at 6.45 p.m. Hey folks, Cape Cass headed out to Long Point in Provincetown yesterday, a most civilized voyage to Land's End. Taxi, taxi, we're here in Provincetown about to take the Long Point shuttle out to the very Cape Tip. $15 round trip gets us to a little land far away. The end of the scorpion's tail. Let's go. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. And I feel fine. That's right, it starts with a water taxi leaving from McMillan Pier on a beautiful afternoon. Stretching out behind us, all the joys of Pete Town, all the boats, all the docks, all the ducks, all the flocks left behind. See you around, don't wait up, don't hang around, we're headed for adventure. Up ahead, see the point, I mean, long point, lighthouse, small house, but a kind of tall house. Beach umbrellas, couple fellas, fast ferry, poison ivy, beach rose, the track and pose, wiggle toes, wiggle toes. We did not, she works fast, hope this day is gonna last. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Tell me about this Cape Tip land, what goes on out here, and why the people love it so much. Uh, it's the most secluded beach on the Cape. We uh, actually you drop you right off here at the beach. You can't get any closer to the tip of the Cape. We drop you off right on it. It's beautiful, quiet, and there's not many people out here usually. It's a hidden gem. My first reaction on stepping ashore here, well, I have to claim it for Cape Cast. This is now part of Cape Cast Nation. My second reaction is, what have I been doing the rest of my life? Why haven't I been here every day with kayaks and fishing boats and beautiful beach people and artists right here at the end of Cape Cod, a giant curl around beach with two lighthouses. Behind me you can see the Pilgrim Monument, the little needle in the haze out there. It's cool and delicious in this land at the end of the world. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it, and I feel fine. Sophia, you came out on the water taxi with us, and uh, we just goofed around, and you've already created a, a semi-masterpiece here. What exactly are you doing? I'm just laying in the colors for what's going to be a finished piece of uh, Impressionist uh, artwork. So what are you trying to feel out here? You're sort of an open receptacle to uh, what? Plein air, the feeling of light and color, and that's what, you know, capturing that and uh, this beautiful view out here. Look at the vast, super empty beach behind us. Just waiting for your picnic basket, your blanket, and that devil-may-care deep inside romance that you still have. You got to get out to places like this. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by world's smallest dog video from Provincetown. For tonight, clear with a low around 61, and for Thursday, sunny with a high near 74. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for June 11th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. It's the end of Cape Cod as we know it. And I feel fine.